healthy. You miss your catio? <laughs> I know you do. Go ahead and emotionally eat. Cute boy. Today is day 13? 14? Again, I don't know. It'll be in the title. Hey, baby. They've already had two meals today. Mostly Betty. It's really hot out. The heat index is probably gonna get to like 95 or something. Probably gonna have some afternoon showers again. Oh boy. It is bath time apparently. You're such a little koala. A little koala kitty. Pickle and unnamed black kitty are being super cute over here with their little nap time. Are you being super cute with your nap time? Yes, you are. I am going to do a cleanup today. I did last Saturday too. You know, there's daily maintenance, but I'm going to wash all of the towels and like blankets and cloth that are out here. The babies are gonna get a little flea bath again. I'll try and, and comb Betty as best as possible for fleas, but to give her a bath is not the most effective uh, thing to do right now. So I really look forward to when I can give her some kind of flea prevention and call her or something. But since she's still nursing, sort of, since they're weaning, can't do that. Can't put the chemicals on your mama's body. What are you guys doing in there? <laughs> and then tomorrow, actually, I might bring Blue and Pickle, pretty sure this is Pickle, to their new dad's house. It's like they know. I mean, Blue especially. She just loves him, and he's gonna be such an awesome kitty dad. I mean, he's an awesome person in general, so they're super duper lucky to be getting such a great home and I'm so excited to see them grow up. I'm thinking if he doesn't start some kind of like Instagram or channel, which he probably won't, I can maybe update you guys at least a couple of times a month, if not weekly, on their progress and how they're growing and how they're doing. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you would want me to keep including on this channel because I'm sure I can do it. But yeah, it's pretty warm out here, so I have the fan on full blast. You've probably heard it the past few videos. If it looks like it's gonna rain again, I'm gonna pull this panel across so that the rain doesn't come in, but I keep it open because there's a sea breeze. The ocean is that way, so there's a nice cross breeze, sea breeze that comes that does cool things down a little bit as long as this is open. Are you attacking my shoe? little nugget but everybody is doing well there have been no outside of the litter boxes incidents for at least three days maybe three or four days two three four days even when they did it, it was always on the pads but they've not even on the pads maybe maybe a little tinkle as you can see like once a day I'll find on one of these pads but besides that, they're doing pretty good. I have given them raw food a couple times and that seems to be their favorite food. So I might keep giving the kittens a little bit of raw food. Are you being cute? Are you being a cute little lady? Yeah. So this is it, clean up day, loving on the kitties. I mean, I have to tend to, you know, my stuff in the house as well as work and of course editing these videos. Oh, good morning. <laughs> what, you guys? Oh shoot, I have to give the squirrels their food. I'm sorry, little guy. They're getting lazy. I have this bungee here, you could see, above the unicorn head, which is entertaining in itself. Oh, there's a little cardinal. I love my backyard. But they've gotten pretty lazy since the twirler went up. They're not doing their acrobatics to jump on the bungee anymore. Maybe like once a week. And if you want to see what that looks like, I have plenty of videos showing that. It is pretty entertaining. I got it for Puppy and Alfred, so it's like their live TV, because they really did spend all of their days out here. Hey, you. Their kitty dad has also been coming by almost every day after work during the week to bond with them and spend time with them. And so that's really great. I mean, he's really looking forward to having them. So they may go home pretty soon. Well, I just feel bad to have the two go and have the one stay that I haven't found a good home for yet. So are you mad at me? Hi, sweetie. Alfred looks concerned. What can I get for you? 
What can I get for you, honey? Hi. How you doing? Oh, you're purring, though. I got the purrs going. Just trying to get him to not scratch that spot. You're purring. You're not so bad. We're just trying to stop you from scratching your little face, sweetheart. Alfred is judging. I think Alfred just wants to play because he already tried to attack him. Well, play attack him from behind a couple times. You're so handsome. We're just trying to bring you up to your, your best game face, honey. You kind of look like an astronaut. Okay. You're meditating. I'll leave you alone. He's doing okay. Meanwhile... Pickle. Definitely looking tigery. <laughs> she, see, yeah, she isn't laying long enough for them to really nurse when they want to as much anymore. And Blue is so codependent. So cute. And I'm gonna share, because I know Blue is adorable, and everybody's always commenting on her but you guys don't realize how sweet and just amazing these black kitties are i'm actually gonna share a couple of videos that i made last year or no two years ago talking about black cats the myths behind them some facts about how amazing they are and straightening out any stigma because they are so loving and if you've had a black cat before you know that they are just so sweet and cuddly whether they're male or female or whatever leave a comment and justify that if you can talk about your own black kitties but I really do hope to find the other black kitty a good home and also Betty Right, sweetie? All right, I guess that's the update for today, unless anything exciting happens later. We'll see you in the next one. Say bye.